What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and today I have some very exciting tutorial for you guys. Now, again, ever since I've been uploading my videos on the Phantom 4 Pro, I get a lot of questions on grading. Hey, uh, Jay, what, do, what LUTs do you use? Uh, how do you grade your footage? Well, today I'm going to show you how I do it and I'm using DaVinci Resolve 12.5 like always because it's free. So. Let's get started. If you don't know how to use DaVinci, just follow along uh, and you should be able to follow along just fine. So first thing we're going to do is drag and drop our footage. We're going to click no as always because wanna make, wanna, we want to make our timeline the same. We don't want to change it. It's there. We're going to click edit, click media pool, make sure it's up there. We're going to drag that to our timeline now. Okay. All right. Now, I shot this with the D-Log setting, which is my favorite. I love the D-Log setting with the Phantom 4 Pro. Some people say it's too, it's too log-ish. Well, there's a reason why. I shoot it this way and I'll show you how. Now, this method, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to use any LUTs. We're going to grade this thing from scratch, from just like this, and I'll show you how easy it is. So, first thing we're going to do is add serial nodes. So, we're going to go to click nodes. We click add serial node or you can see you can press alt s or option s for mac we're going to do that twice or three times actually I see, I see something wrong here you see timeline here we don't want that we want to add it to the clip all right we just want that to the clip because if you leave it on timeline that's going to add the color grade that you're going to do is going to add to the whole entire timeline we don't want to do that we're going to do it to the clip so let's click clip let's go alt s let's make about Oh, sorry. Change that. Make about four. Okay? So we have four nodes and we're going to start color grading now and correcting. Let's go to the color tab, color wheels tab. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is actually crank up the contrast. Now, that's what actually, that's what LUTs do. They just add contrast. They just spread the contrast up. And what I'm also going to do is add our scopes, video scopes on so we can see what we're doing here. So, Crank the contrast up until we're not crushing anything here. We don't want to crush anything. So that looks good. And I'm just eyeing that. I'm making sure, ooh, let's go click this up. I'm making sure that I'm not crushing anything. I'm confirming that by looking at my scopes. Nothing is clipping here. That's good. We're retaining all the details. And this is why we want to shoot log because look at this dynamic range here. It's supposed to be 12 stops. And it's 12 stops, I'm not sure, but it's actually, I'm pretty sure it's more than what a DSLR can take because you can see right here, it's not clipped. There's a, there's a decent amount of detail up there in the clouds, which is very good and I'm very impressed from DJI. So, cranked up the contrast. Let's go with 1.5 for now. And you can just double click and enter the number that you want. That looks good. Actually, all right, let's just bring it back. I'm stupid. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the next node. And in this next node, this is when we're gonna drop the lift. Okay, and this is when you make the decision and this is when knowledge comes in and taste because you're going to look at these tree lines here. You're going to ask yourself, people would probably do this. That's black because you know, you got you to you put it all the way down because that's what Google says. You got to stretch out your dynamic range. But the problem with that is those trees shouldn't be pure black. They should have a little bit more detail to it. So what I'm going to do, or my taste, I lift those out just a little bit. I let some crush blacks, which is cool, but I don't let those lose a lot of detail because you have those dynamic range so you can, you can see through those. So right there looks about good. All right. And we're going to do the same thing with the highlights. All right. So we're setting the blacks and we're setting the highlights. We're going to go with the highlights and the gain wheel. We're going to move that around. Now, again, if somebody would Google and they're going to say, oh, yeah, you're going to stretch it all the way out. Well, ask yourself this. Should the sky be pure white? Because 1023 up here is pure white. Should that be pure white? Well, in my opinion, no, it shouldn't be. So what I do is I just set it to maybe above 896. Like I said, this is my taste, man. You guys don't have to follow this to the teeth. And you see that little snow there. Like, snow shouldn't be pure white. It's just, they need to be detail there. So we, should, we can't crank it like this when you can't see anything. And everything is just crushed up. 
we want that detail we want that detail back so we're gonna go about right there and there you go we're gonna go we're gonna go before and after see if I can do that here control D before this is the D log and that's the after and you can see it's much much better now next thing we're gonna do is go to click uh, node 4 here's what we're gonna decide our saturation you can crank up saturation if you really want that HD look you know like that HD pop look but when I want when I make my videos I don't like the HD move I go for the film look so I actually subtract contrast with mine probably go I mean not contrast I'm sorry saturation so I probably go to 45 and I'm happy with that that looks great now in this situation we didn't need to really mess with log that much because I exposed this just perfect I mean I mean as perfect as I can that day so I don't have to mess around with log but people ask me why I pick log over D cine like well this is why this is why I do it I created a f this first node just in case I need this but this is where D log uh, is more is much better than other color profiles out there I'm gonna click on the first node click on log settings and I can actually move those specifically in log so if I'm in trouble with my shadows, mids, and highlights, I can move those log. And you can try to do this with a city like or something, but it's not going to react the same as if, you're, if your movie was shot in log or raw. Okay? So yeah, if I need a little bit more detail there, I would crank it up, and then I would go to 3, I would uh, change this to primary wheels, and I would go crush it down. That just gives you more control of your footage if you shoot log, and you use this log control but like I said be careful when you do because it's really precise it's, it's precise color grading and color correction make sure you mess around with it first but that's the reason why I have this log footage here also I mean log controls also what I can do is in number two this pivot here if I want to change the way the contrast is distribu distributed in my image I will move this up and down so if I want to give the shadows a little bit highlights I mean a little bit detail I would move it down but if I want to give the uh, the the highlights more detail I will move it up move it up so yeah so I don't like making big huge tutorials because I know a lot not a lot of people have patience for it but if you like this video I might make some more videos for you guys but um, just let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching